Hello, hello, welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy Heaven Sword. Uh, I'm just, oh, fuck, I fucked up that intro, but whatever, we're gonna roll with it. Um, so we were just ready to speak with the Sinian and kind of confront Ros uh, Rosweger about some, some stories that, some parts of the story that he didn't really tell us, I don't think. So let's talk with the Sinian. Though Nidhogg has fallen, my heart is yet heavy, and the stain of corruption pleases me not. When all has been put to rest, I must needs forge my armor anew. Alright. Alright, let's use that. Yep, we now have the mount. Alright. Uh, with Nidhogg fallen, none can none save uh, Hrelsvelger remain to answer our questions. Let us trouble the worm again. And if Iceheart yet lingers at Zenith, all the better. I would have her hear the truth from the dragon's maw. All right? Yeah, we can do that. Ow. Talk to the Great Worm. was you, was it not? The furious screams of the dragons carried far. You have slain Nidhogg. What more could you desire from this place? Will you not allow Hrosvelgar to mourn the death of his kin in peace? Spare us your san sanctimonious judgment, Ice Maiden. We have a gift for the Great Worm, and a mystery that can no longer lie buried. Lady Iceheart, the Dragon Song, song War has all but consumed your life and claimed many of your followers. It is time you learn the truth of its beginning. The whole truth that we may at last bring this bitter conflict to an end. Sound the horn, warrior of light. Impen um, impenitent mortals, ever seeking to bury old wrongs under new. I did sense the moment of Nidhogg's demise. You mean the moment I prized your eye from his head? Twould seem thou hast discovered my secret. I, unto the blinded Nidhogg, did I yield one half of my strength.
Well, here. It's rightfully yours. Oh, shit. Nidhogg, what hath befallen thee? We are done done by covetous mortals. They did take Rat uh, Ratosker's eyes and glut their appetite upon her essence. She is slain then. What madness hath unmade our peaceful accord? Did I not warn thee, brood brother? They have ever been untrustworthy creatures, these short-lived Ellison. I am so sorry. I had to pause the recording real quick there. Uh, anyways, uh, but thou wert enchanted by thy mortal maid. Thy folly hath cost Radiscore her life, and me mine, uh, and me mine eyes. Oh, my beloved Shiva, how swiftly are thy kin made bestial by their appetites. Hurst Velger, t'was thy blindness that did invite disaster into our lands. Surrender thee and I to me, and let that be thy pen penance. Listen. Nidhogg. They bested me once, but I was reckless. I shall need but a single eye to inflict enduring torment upon these traitors and every child of their line. Yield to me thy strength, brood brother. My vengeance is begun. Thou hast borne witness to a scene from my past. It was yours! Your strength that sustained Nidhogg all these years! Would that Haldreth had dealt the worm a killing blow. Strahav and Ustjaz Anar. 
When my brood brother did appear before me, bloody and blinded, his life was all but spent. He demanded half my vigor that he might exact his revenge upon the mortals who had wronged us. And so you acquiesced. You surrendered your eye to Nidhogg, knowing full well the suffering he would inflict. This means The peace, my beloved, so dearly desired, had been shattered by her own kin. Their treachery claimed my brood sister's life and my brood brother's reason. Thinkest thou thy fits of indignation will move me to remorse? Go, mortals, take your unruly passions and leave this place. Your presence here spelleth naught but misery. Were it not for Shiva's soothing embrace, I would slay you where you stand. Woe be tied you should uh, you should the bond we ah, I cannot read will be tied you should the bond we share ever weaken I never thought this day would come. The day when I get locked down. I was stupid. Quotes. Ah, I want to die. All right. Well, I guess it's time to do a bunch of the side quests uh, that we've been. Uh, that we've uh, ha we, that we haven't been doing. So let's see. Um, let's see, let's undo that, undo this, okay, for all the nights to come. Alright, so, well, let's take our leave and go. I can't believe we were, we were level locked again. Like, I thought that was behind us. I thought we we cleared ourselves of that. But, you know. Um, I guess not. Oh, heck yeah! Woo!
Oh. With our chocobo summoned. Oh. I don't have... I don't have it. Ah, uh, okay. How unfortunate. Okay, so we're not gonna... Guess we're not gonna do that. So instead, we'll... Instead, we'll go... Over here. Let's see this one first. Looking for supper, eh? I don't mind sharing, but these ingredients don't come easy. I'll serve you some, but I need more chocobo meat for later. Oops. I didn't read that. Oh well. Alright. Uh, the bugs me I mentioned earlier, God's them feather fleas, they got suckers uh, yom long and love the taste of chocobo blood. Been wondering what to do about them. I managed to drive them away whenever they came near our birds, but... Uh, there doesn't seem to be an end to the buggers. I would go into the forest and squash them myself, but that would leave the chocobos defenseless. Say, why don't you kill a few of them in, in my stead? If you could put down about four or so, you'd have my thanks. Sure. some wild chocobos. Okay. We need to kill some, um, some fleas. Uh, a ni uh, ah, a nice golden brown. I'd say this batch is just about done. You find any chocobo meat? Yep. Good, good. This, this will do just fine. I have a plate for you over there. Take it while it's still hot. Feather fleas. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, look at that! Look at that go! Look at that regalia go!
I take it the fleas went down easy. I you're quite a bug killer. The chocobos fly into a flurry at the very sight of those blasted bugs, and it takes the better part of the day to calm down. Thanks to you, we'll be able to sleep peacefully for a while. Okay, I don't think we can get any of these, so we'll take the money. Wait a second. Why did that give me so much XP? <gasps> oh! Oh, hell yeah, we're gonna- Ooh, 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 we- Okay, yeah, mm-hmm, yep. Oh, look at how- <laughs> Look at it. Oh, we need to take- We need to take- Okay, I didn't realize, I thought that was the MGP thing. Nope, alright, we we're gonna take advantage of that. Holy! can't wait to fly. That's a fate. Is somebody doing that? That's fine. What do you mean I'm too far away? See that cage there? Blast Chocobo pulled the door right off its hinges. Most like it was trying to rescue the bird inside. Okay. Oh. See, this is why you do quests, because they give you better gear. By the 12, this Chocobo just won't shut up. She's got no hurts as far as I can see, and the sick bird and a sick bird wouldn't make such a fuss, which leaves you just one possibility. I've got a mind to go and verify my suspicion, but it's I'm not overly keen on leaving the bird while it's wailing like that. Could could attract predators. Could you uh, would you mind going? Here, let me your map. I'll mark the place we caught this bird. Chances are there's a nest nearby. If you find it, know what's inside and come back to tell me. And they've they've got it finished, so I'm just Yeah, I know. I'm that person. Um why does the caged bird sing? I don't know, why does it sing? Mm, there's an egg, or there's a few eggs. There are eggs in the nest. Yep. Alright. Oh, while we're here. Let's run up and grab this quest. It's on this uh, cliff over here. I'm gonna have to walk around. God, I've been having so much fun with this game. Like, hot diggity. I'm really sad that I couldn't get the uh, the, the pre-order mount, the collector's edition mount, or not collector, but like the, not the standard edition, basically. So I'm kind of sad that I didn't get the uh, cool looking horse mount. But whatever. It's fine. I love uh, minions that like sit on your shoulder or like, you know, do something cool. But yeah. Uh, that bird ain't scared of us hunters, I can tell you that much. It's rare one of us comes away with an encounter with it unscathed. Alright, quickly. What is this? God, uh, God damn it, that's the third time this week. Blasted banner snatches keep snap uh, snapping up the chocobos before we collect them from the traps. Yikes. Blasted beast got got a taste of chocobo meat, and now they won't stay away. Why, I seen three prowling nearby, not a bell ago, waiting for an easy meal. If you were to get rid of them, might be as well. Uh, might be as I'll make it worth your while. Sure. I found like three over here, so. Or I mean, I. I well, there there are three. 
over there. Oh, I'm gonna have to run over there, aren't I? Yeah. Eventually, it's getting dusty because I leave it out. So, yeah. I love this weapon so much, and I'm so happy, actually. It's one of my favorite glamours for a red mage. Slew the beast? Wonderful. Now the chocobos won't become bandersnatcher fodder no more. To be fair though, the birds are perfectly capable of fending for themselves. They only fall prey to the bandersnatchers because they were trapped. For that, I feel bloody awful. But thanks to you, the noble creatures won't meet such an unfitting end no more. Awesome. Just as I thought, this one's about to be a mother. There's no helping it then. As fine as the bird she is, she's uh, she's got to go back to her nest. It's a rule of ours, you see? You can't catch a joke about what's brooding. Don't matter if it's the finest specimen you've ever seen, or that you've been having a bad spell. Nay, whatever the circumstance, we've got to see beyond the present. Otherwise, we hunters won't have much of a, fi a future. What in... When did I have that? Yo! I look comfy. I, I look real comfy! <laughs> um... Wow, I didn't even realize I had that, uh... Gear with me. Hmm. Yeah, we can't do this right now because... We need to have our juggle summon, which requires us getting the, uh, the green lettuce thing, you know? We can also do a bunch of fades to level up if we really need- no, go away. There's also this one, I want to be the hunter quest that we could take. Well, if it isn't the fame to tell you what everyone's been going on about. Word travels fast in camp, uh, in a camp this small. Say, could you lend your ear for a bit? Thanks for keeping this lonely hunter company. Any road since you're near around here? I thought you might want to know about this place and its denizens. You see, the hunters of Tailfeather make their way, uh, make their way by catching the wild chocobos gathering around these forests and selling them to the renowned Ishgardian trainers. You might think us hunters have the easy end of the deal, but you change your mind quickly about uh, enough the first time a dragon breathes down your neck. Add to that all the other hungry beasts looking for an easy meal, and you'd be right to doubt the sanity of this whole camp. That's why most hunters in the Dravanian Forelands are either 
or are either them that are just trying to escape their pitiful lives back home, or them are crazy enough to get enjoyment from risking their necks every day. Thrill seekers. Of course, you can't forget those that are just here for the quick, uh, quick bucket full of gill, chasing the golden chocobo, so to speak. The promise of riches brings new blood from all over, all over Eorzea. Isn't that right, Kiyanta? Uh, uh, Kiyanta. You got that right. I'm here to bag myself the biggest chocobo Eorzea has ever seen. Thing is, chocobo hunting is generally done in pairs, and Kenyatta here, having never trapped an animal herself, is in need of a partner. I know you've got some experience hunting all manner of beasts, so I'm asking you to help her out until I find someone suitable. Okay, sure. I can't thank you enough, Atelios. kiyata has got some ideas for her first hunt. Speak to her and she'll tell you all about them. I look so comfy in this, like, attire. I am comfy. Big comfy. Finally a partner. Now we can be real hunters. Let's not keep those birds waiting. This hunt will be simple. All we have to do is lure a chocobo out with these uh, gi uh, gristle, uh, hey, gristle greens. There's only one problem. Wild chocobos have a keen sense of smell and won't come near a trap if they catch even a whiff of a hunter's scent. But fret not, for I have a plan. Just the other day, I came across some mushrooms whose reek I can still smell. If we use them to hide our scent, those chocobos will be none the wiser. Oh my god, I had to roll myself in mushrooms again. I'll take care of arranging the uh, gistle greens for the traps, and I need my partner, that's you, to go and pick that- <laughs> That pungent fungus for me. Of course, I get stuck with that. It seems the hunters call the mushroom Chandler's Wick, and about five or so should do the trick. Just head out, ace the tail feather for a bit, and use your nose to guide you the rest of the way. Sure. Look at me, I'm so comfy! I'm really comfy. Which one's this one? Cover chicks. Yeah, sure. Hey, Marchamp. Seems that Chocobo has been stirring up trouble all around the forest. While you were gathering information, I went out and checked the traps that are set around Tailfeather. Ain't nothing left of them but scattered straw and broken wood. Can't say we've ever dealt with a problem like this one. Might be that it's uh, that this Chocobo has taken some kind of revenge on us hunters, and these acts are a means of provoking us. By all accounts, this Chocobo is stronger and more clever than the rest. I expect capturing it won't be a simple feat. Yeah. All right. Ooh. <gasps> Can we actually fly now? <gasps> oh yeah! All right, needs more salt. Ah, I tell you, it's just the line I was looking for. Slugs have taken to investing the surrounding woods, and I need your help in getting rid of them. It's already got some people on the job, but slimy buggers multiply faster than they can kill them. At the moment, we're short on hands in the south of the Chocobo Forest. Go there quick as you can and use this here solution to lure the, sl the slugs out. I reckon you know what to do after that. Yep, and then one more. Alright. It seems the wild Chocobo has it out for us hunters, and one when one of their kind gets something like that in its head, ain't no way it'll ever be fit for riding. The only choice we have now is to put the bird down, rare as it might be. The job will require all the hands I've got, and you've proven to be a stout ally to us hunters. I want you to go along with my best trackers and find out where this monstrous chocobo lays its roost. The whereabouts of that chocobo won't be a mystery for long. Let's see. A broken trap was discovered in the vicinity of the Wilrom River. That'd be a good place to start our search. Alright. Sure. Oh my god, I love the... Look at the look at the physics of me running. That's awesome. Uh, okay, let's do this one then. Uh, Chocobo hunting isn't as easy it look as it looks. Those birds are too clever by a half. I've designed some new traps though, uh, that I set up around Tailfeather a few days ago. Might be some time to check them. Think you could do that for me? There are two of them: one upstream to the Wilrum River and one out to the east of Tailfeather. All you really need to do is head out there to see if they've caught anything. All right. There's no way I can actually fly now. That'd be so cool. Just imagine. <gasps> Ooh, I can actually fly. Ah, that's so cool. Oh, shoot, I went the wrong way. Whatever. I got too excited. I got too excited. Clever tricks. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, neither do we see any bait. Okay. Use more salt. Huh? Oh my god, this is so cool! Ah! What did I need to do? Oh, I see. hit me. Did that hit me? I don't think so. Oh, I'm backing myself into a corner. It's fine, I got it. Summer, no. I know you want to just kind of be around, but like, you know, you gotta stop. I told myself that I would lower particle effects for my party, but you know, of course I never did it, so. Because I forgot where the, uh, thing is. Alright, so we also need to go over here, so. Oh, look at me go! <laughs> this is so dumb and I hate it. First aether current that I've uh, unlocked. Oh my! That should be it, right? Oh, no. Look at how- look- look at this stuff, man. Oh my god, flying in-game. This is great. Oops, that's my hunting log. Alright, it's supposed to be this way. Alright. Oh, there you go. Oh. oh! Oh, I forgot to read the dialogue. Oh well. This is gonna be another long episode because... Um... I want to finish the side quest. Alright, 
That should complete that. Now where? Oh, my turn. That's a lot of quests. Oh, we also have. Alright, let's teleport there. Peculiar scent. What have you brought me? This is what they eat in the Chocobo Forest? Interesting. Ugh, disgusting. Why would one sear the flesh of the meat? The natural flavors are all but gone now. A strange breed indeed. I want... This. Wait. Yes. Alright. Um... Now where are we headed? Avatar, wait. Alright. Say nothing, partner. Judging by your charming odor, odor, you've picked the mushrooms we need. Yeah. Yes, uh, yes, these are the my god, stench is even worse up close. Here, I'll put them in my bag before the whole camp wretches. Alright, partner, it looks like I have the uninvited <laughs> uninviable joy a uh, job of Mixing these mushrooms with the Gissel Greens. Say, why don't you tell Lopper what a good tea we make? Oh what in the seven hells did she have you do? She's gonna mask her scent with that? Can't say anything about uh, how wise that plan is, but it sure is interesting. As I'm sure you've gathered from the tail and ears, Kiana's a Makote, and hunting's in their blood. Could be this plan might actually work. I, I know I'm, I'm also a Makote, little part. I know. Any road, it seems you two are getting along better than I could have ever hoped. Keep up, uh, keep on with her, and I'll keep asking around for anyone lacking a partner. Thanks. Uh, natural instinct. Atelios, the whole camp's in a hubbub. Seems the lonely chocobo's been sighted wandering around not too far south, waiting for a pair of hunters to come snatch it up. An easy target will make the uh, first hunt for Kenyatta. Now, don't go look uh, don't go thinking this bird will just walk right into your traps. Uh, Kianta is still as green as they come. Go out with her and lend a hand before she misses out on her first catch. You heard Lopard. What are you waiting for, partner? That joke was not gonna catch itself. And wait, before I forget. Aha! This is the special mixture I made out of those mushrooms and some gizzle greens. Fragrant, aren't they? The jungle we're aiming to nab's been sighted to the south, which means plenty of hunters that think they're clever uh, set up traps there. Lucky for us, though, I've thought one step ahead. You see, since so many hunters have been down south, their scent will be as plain as the chocobo at this mushroom, as this mushroom is does. Now, if I was a chocobo, I'd steer well clear of that place. I might even be inclined to take a slightly more dangerous route, as to not run into any hunters. Now, if my instincts are right, that chocobo will go right through the banner snatch territory. That's why we gotta send set up our traps to the north. Brilliant idea, isn't it? Sure is. What's that? Don't tell me you're scared of the big bad banner snatches. Just tread lightly and we'll both come back with a new chocobo. Here, let's divide up the greens and go to setting our traps. I'm not scared of some banner snatches. I fought like five. Once everything's set up, let's meet at the hunter's camp to the north. Good luck, partner. Okay. Alright, well, that's where we're going to end this episode. Oh, look at... Oh, look at that. I look fancy. But anyways, we're going to end the episode here for today because it's reaching that time. So... Oh my god, it turned bright. Oh my god, it turned bright real quick right there. Alright. Thanks. But anyways, so, like always, I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Be safe.